Hello everyone, this is Gove Lloyd, fitness trainer from Australia. Palabastayo. So what I'll be talking about today is 20 exercises for 2020. Now these are body weighted exercises that you can do anywhere to make it almost impossible to have any excuse not to reach your fitness goals this year. So jumping jacks. This is often used as a warm-up exercise. Um, very simple, I'm sure most people have done it before. So just soft knees, arms out at the same time, and just go away, usually 20 to 30 reps. Warm-up three sets. Okay, stepping alternate lunges. Now this one here, you wanna stand with uh, shoulder width apart. Now just stepping out either right or left leg forward first. Keep that shoulder width apart, and remember, don't lock out the joints, the knees, in the exercise there. So you want to go as deep as you can, depending on your flexibility and also your strength and your joints. Also, 20 reps or 10 each side. Okay, mountain climbers. So this one is excellent for working the core. So you can get down, it's also to jack the heart rate up as well. So start off in a plank position, and you can start with your left or your right side. So you just bring your knees more towards your elbows in a sort of almost like high knee position. And you just go alternate, keeping it nice and quick to really raise that heart. Okay, next one we got burpees. Now burpees is of course a class favorite. Burpees is an excellent one to warm up. It's often used in CrossFit and then thrown around everywhere in the gym. So this is an excellent one to really push, uh, push the heart rate and to get you up the temperature for workout very quickly. This one you like to do three sets of 10 reps. Plank jacks. So it's basically up in a push-up position and now your feet will start in the middle as in a push-up position and then it'll just go out to the side. So spring out to the side like a jumping jack but only your feet are moving. So this one you can do about 20 reps. Now skaters. Skaters sort of mimicking an ice skater. So what you want to do is you want to start either on your right or your left side bringing the back leg all the way across, further across than the standing leg. And then you're going to jump across um, which is going to load up the front leg. So this one is just like skating from side to side. You know, depending on your fitness level, you can go deeper and you can do as many reps as you can until you feel that really burning on the outside of the quad and the glute area. Calf raises. Now, you cannot forget about the calves. So calf raises can be done either on a step or even on a flat ground. So the idea is to just really get as much flexion as possible with the calf. So I usually do about 20 to 30 reps and about three to five sets. Okay, so now the hip thrust. Now this one is for the hip flexors and also for the glutes. So laying down on the ground on your back with your knees bent. So this one here, hands down by your side, you're just gonna push your hips up towards the roof and then slowly back down again, making sure that you really squeeze the glutes on the top of the movement. Now this exercise, you can do 20 to 30 reps, also three sets. Okay, now moving to the upper body, let's say push-ups. Now everyone knows push-ups, it's a staple of any person's exercise to maintaining that muscular look. So push-ups, you want to keep about shoulder width apart with the hands, going down as deep as you can until your chest touches the floor, and then all the way back up to the starting position. With this one, I like to do between 20 to 30 uh, reps and about three to five sets. Plyometric push-ups, similar to a normal push-up except with a more explosive nature to it. So you go down as you normally would, but then exploding up, making sure that your hands actually lift off the ground. So this is excellent for martial artists or people into sports. So now push-up jacks. So what you do is similar to the jacks. So you do a push-up first and then your feet go from being together. Then you just throw them out into like a um, jumping jack sort of way or manner and then you push up again. So they go out and in, and then you push up, and then you push back up, and then out and in again with the legs. Plank shoulder tap. So just starting in a push up position, and then just doing alternate hand to shoulder tap. So this one here, you can do probably a time or a rep. So you can do like 30 reps, or you could do it for about 30 to 45 seconds. Now, just a standard plank, everyone knows this one. So you wanna just hold it there. You can either do it on your hands in a push-up position or most commonly on the elbows. Now, very important for this one is don't let your back sink in. If you start to feel a little bit tired, just raise your ass a little bit higher because you don't wanna have that pressure on the lower spine. So this one you can do, start off with 30 to 45 seconds and work your way up as long as you can. Knees to elbows. So this one is quite similar to doing a mountain climber, 
except the movement's done a little bit slower. So you're starting off in a push-up position and then slowly bring your knee towards your elbow, squeezing the abdomens as you do. So this is gonna really work the core and also the upper body as well. So with this one, I like to do about 20 reps. Okay, laying leg raises. Now with the core, you wanna work the upper, mid and the lower. So with the leg raises, this is gonna work on the lower abdominals. So with this one, you wanna start laying on the ground with your hands either to your side or just under your bum. And then you wanna lift the legs up, all the way up till it's vertical, and then let them go down slowly, controlled, without letting them touch the ground. This one you can do anywhere from 15 to 20 reps and do it about three to five sets. V-sits, so laying on your back with your legs up in the air. So you're gonna keep them towards the roof. Now you're gonna reach up, leaving your legs in the air. You're gonna reach up with your hands and try to touch your toes. But get as close to your toes as possible and then all the way back down to the starting position. Now this is gonna really work the mid to upper core. And so you can do 15 to 20 reps and also three to five sets. Now ankle taps, so in a crunch position, laying down on your back, hands down by your side, and then your bent knees, feet on the ground. So now you go, you lift your torso slightly off the ground, and then you're gonna go side to side, swaying and touching each ankle on each side. So this one, it's quite a mild exercise, but done correctly, it can really start to burn. So you wanna do about 15 to 20 reps, also three to five sets. Crunches, it's a staple of any person's fitness routine. So with the crunches, just laying down on your back, you can have your hands out in front of you, bent knees, feet on the ground. Now what I want you to do is to reach up and try to get your palms on top of those knees and then bring all the way down. So you want to exhale as you squeeze upwards, get your palms to the top of your knees and then back down again. Also 15 to 20 reps, three to five sets. Bench leg raises. So similar to the leg raises, it's gonna work your lower to mid core. So you gotta make sure you lean back, stabilize with your hands, and then lift those legs or the knees towards your chest. You can bend the knees as you raise them up and then straighten the legs back out as you extend the legs outwards, making sure that you really squeeze that core. So remember this is your lower to mid range core. So this one you wanna do about 20 to 30 reps, three to five sets. Bench dips. Now bench dips is pre predominantly for the triceps. So with the bench dips, you can either do it with your feet on the ground, or if you're a little bit more of an experienced one, you can have your legs also lifted up onto another bench or another chair. Now with this exercise, you want to try and get the elbows to 90 degree, loading up the tricep. With this one, depending on your strength, you can do anywhere from 15 to 20 reps, also three to five sets. Okay, so these 20 exercises for 2020 is something that you can do anywhere, anytime. Now this will help you burn fat, build strength, build up endurance, and they're very good fundamentally to get you started. But if you're ready to step it up, step it up to the next level and have the physique that I have, then hit me up. You can follow me on Instagram at govloyd at Instagram. So G-O-V-L-L-O-Y-D. Hope to hear from you guys soon. Thanks for listening. So yeah, you know, like, share, subscribe, palabas tayo. They're not only on YouTube, it's also on Facebook, on Instagram, and Twitter. So what are you waiting for? Like, share, subscribe, retweet, do whatever you have to do. Just spread the word and spread the love. Subscribe now. <laughs>